Hello and welcome back. Here we are, Upper Marion High School. We're getting ready for second half action. The Upper Marion Vikings hosting the Norris Town Eagles. And a halftime score, 34 to nine in favor of the Norris Town Eagles. Uh, we'll see if the ties can change a little bit here. It is a 25 point lead at halftime and I have yet to mention domination and the game being out of reach for the Vikings and total domination and just those kinds of things, trying to give the Vikings a chance. But that's where we sit here as, as the Eagles have completely dominated play. It's been a team effort. Uh, Hargrove has, Jaquan Hargrove that is, with six. Chris Davis with seven. Tyrese White with four. Sheldon Mayer with four. Malik Williams with four. Aaron Webb with a three-pointer. A lot of guys scoring, a lot of guys getting action. Um, obviously not the same for the Upper Marion Vikings. Uh, Fran Rafferty has four, Rob Griffith has three, and Pat Belford has two. That's the nine points for the Vikings. Starting the second half for the Eagles, Chris Davis, Rasheed McCray, Sheldon Mayer, Alan Yates, Jaquil Hargrove, and for the Upper Marion Vikings, it's uh, Pat Belford, 13, it's 23, Paul Kubler, it's number 11, Ryan McGee, along with Rafferty, if I didn't say Fran Rafferty, forgive me. Rafferty inside left hand, layup, good effort, bounds off, good rebound, Alan Yates. Alan Yates, good, strong rebound, Sheldon Mayer, top of the key. Again, you're watching NASD TV. I am Jared Elias, I didn't even give you my name for crying out loud. And I'm bringing you the action here, NASD TV. Nice jump shot there by Yates at the top of the key. And Yates with a soft stroke for a big man. Full court pressure this time by Norristown, and it certainly works. That ball's thrown out of bounds. And Upper Marion really didn't get any pressure like that in the first half. And I guess if you give them a little bit, they're gonna have a hard time handling it. They, they had a hard time handling some of the basic defense that was set up by the Eagles. Sheldon Mayer flashes, uh, gives the ball to a flashing Yates, top of the key. And that ball goes to Hargrove, they swing it around back to Yates. Narstown has a jump shot there, Hargrove wide open from the foul line. And that's cash money for Hargrove with his. Second basket, fourth point of the game. Long jump shot by McGee, rebound by Mayer. Mayer, long outlet pass to Hargrove for the lay, and Hargrove, six straight points. Timeout for the Vikings, and that's a 30-second timeout. Sheldon Mayer, good outlet pass, and it's a Jaquil Hargrove show in the second half, six consecutive points. That widens the Norristown lead to 31 with six minutes, 30 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Uh, Norristown certainly playing with a big lead in sports in general is a tough thing to do. You see a lot of times on Sundays in the NFL, a team get up to a 17 point lead just to watch that melt away and the other team will come back and tie it or and make it 14, 17, a little closer. Same thing in basketball. The hardest thing to do is to play with a big lead. You tend to get lax, you tend to get comfortable and not run and play with the same passion that you did when you were even or when the score just begun. Norristown is making sure that's not the case. As here goes the little guy, McGee, dribbling it up to court. Chris Davis eyes that basketball. Keep your eye on the hips of the, of the dribbler as well as the basketball. And that ball is stolen, another bad pass. Vikings gotta be more careful with the ball. Jaquil Hargrove, who else, lays it in. His eighth point of the half, and there's a lay-in, no most. The Vikings have not been able to get easy baskets by any, any stretch of the imagination. Any stretch of the imagination. And uh, that was almost an easy basket, but you know, good foul by Norristown's Jaquil Hargrove. That's his first foul. And to the line, and it's good, is Pat Belford. He's three for three from the foul line. That's the 10th point of the night for the Vikings. They trail by 32. Six minutes, six seconds remaining. Second shot by Belford is up and good. 
Okay, he is in a bright spot, four for four from the foul line for the Vikings. Now some full court pressure by Upper Marion. Sheldon Mayer dices him there. <laughs> right through him like a hot knife through butter. Chris Davis laying off the rim, skying for the rebound as McCray one hands it. Davis had an easy uh, look at the hoop if he wanted. Nope, decides to back it out. Sheldon Mayer, he's got the tallest player on the court guarding him, top of the key. As they're in a man-to-man -man defense now are the Vikings. Sheldon Mayer runs off that pass. Chris Davis, good hesitation dribble, and he traveled. No doubt there, he traveled. May have been grabbed, but that's okay. Traveling called, turnover by the Eagles. And here goes McGee, bringing it back up. 5.34 remaining in this third quarter. Norristown 42. And the Vikings upper Marion 11. Norristown's in the man to man. Rafferty left hand dribble to the foul line. McGee quick pass. Kubler back to McGee. Rafferty long three. Boom. Good shot by Rafferty. His first three of the game. That's the Vikings' first three pointer of the game. And 14 for the Vikings, 42 for Norristown. McCray, top of the key. Jaquil Hargrove, he flashes through. Great job so far, the Eagles, of moving, staying, moving. If you move, it's tough to guard, and there's your result. Alan Yates goes up strong for the lay-in. Norristown back in the man-to-man -man set. And the Vikings are, are starting to look a little tired, a little defeated. As I say, it a nice jumper. It just wasn't there in the first half. Guy like Rob Griffin not able to get free, and the defense cannot allow these easy lay-ins and easy runs to the hoop. Another basket there, and that's Rasheed McCray with a lay-in. And at this point, you know, Norristown is all right with giving up a basket as they did there. That's number 23, Paul Kubler, with his first bucket of the game. They put on this pressure here, which is just not effective versus a much quicker, faster, more agile, more athletic Norristown team. Chris Davis trapped a little bit. He gets free. Sheldon down low to McCray. McCray wide open. I beg your pardon, drives hard to the hoop, draws a foul. He'll shoot a pair. That foul is on number 23, Paul Kubler. His first, team's first. To the line, McCray to shoot a pair. McCray, money from the foul line, McCray. Let me check what I have here, Rasheed McCray. He is five for five from the foul line. Smooth into the game. Number 50 is James Mobley, and he checks in for 23, Paul Kluber. Second foul shot is off the mark, just as I praise him. For McCray, rebound goes to Norristown. Upper Marion obviously can't afford to give away any second chances here. Um, you'd like to think they can come back in a game, but perhaps that is an unreachable task as they trail by 29. 47-18, 3.25 remain in this third quarter. Yeah, Yates with some moves down low. Kick it up to Sheldon Mayer, and he goes right by his guy and makes the young man fall down on the dribble, dribble step move. The fans like that one as Sheldon Mayer shows his quickness. He's a D1 running back, folks. He'll be recruited, and he's being recruited heavily. He'll be playing football next fall on Saturday afternoons without question. And his first step is probably one of the reasons why. Yates from the foul line, not a good shot. That foul was on James Mobley, his first. Yates misses the foul shot. Again, Norristown 47, Vikings of Upper Marion 18. Three minutes, 20 seconds remain. Yates' second foul shot is good. Norristown full court pressure. Tough pass there, handled by Rafferty up high. He gives it back to 20. 20's Rob Griffin. Griffin, McGee, McGee in the corner, shoots it. That's short off the iron. And running and gunning. Here goes Norristown. McCray, oh, does he rise up? Easy laying Rasheed McCray. Just a little bit too talented for the defender. And I'm being, well, Take it as you like it. A little bit too talented, a little bit too strong as he gets vertical for the lay-in. McGee, left-hand dribble, crosses over to his right, spins. He's good. Nice handle for the young kid there, McGee. Three-pointers up by 20. Put Rob Griffith. That's off the rim. 
And good rebound for the Eagles. Here comes Sheldon Mayer. Set to check in is Aaron Webb. And he's going to be checking in for Rashid McCray. McCray, speaking of which, handles, kicks it up top to Yates. Yates, dribble drive by the big man, throws it up. And one, Allen Yates, strong move. Strong move by Allen Yates, the senior. He's tall, six foot four senior. Shows some good body control there. Gets to the rack, lays it in. And as I said, Aaron Webb, 24, checks in for number 15, Rasheed McCray. Yates foul shot, hey, missed that one, and another rebound for the Eagles, another chance. Jacrell Hargrove is certainly a riser. He can just jump out of the gym, grabs that one, and um, the Eagles lead 52 to 18. Chris Davis dribbles right side, entry pass to Yates. He misses it, rebounds his own miss, put back by Yates, and some of the Norristown faithful, you hear them, Fired up at the effort by senior Yates, and he too is fired up. Rafferty is the do it all guy for Upper Marion. He's the center, he's the point guard, he's the penetrator. He kicks it out. That shot's missed by 13. Pat Belfort. Balfour gets it back. Bounce pass. Malcolm Coleman. Strong move by Malcolm Coleman. You got to wonder why didn't we see him earlier? We've yet to see, except for Rafferty, an aggressive move to the hoop like that. The lay in and the foul. That foul is on Jaquil Hargrove. His second foul shot by Malcolm Coleman, excuse me. That's off the iron, he missed. And Sheldon Mayer breaks through quickly and easily. Center court, Davis back to Sheldon Mayer. Sheldon Mayer looks at his coach for the play. A couple subs here coming in for the Vikings. Sheldon Mayer double teamed up top and he certainly runs away from that as he did all fall from opposing linebackers and defensive tackles. Chris Davis, Yates, looked like he traveled in. Good spin move, Yates. Oof. Good move by Allen Yates. He's got unofficially, I got him with nine points in the second half. Norristown by 36. One minute remains here in the third quarter. That ball's knocked out of bounds by Davis. One minute remains into the game for Upper Marion. It's number three, Jeff Dillahay, and number two, Anderson Ingram. They check in for 11, Ryan McGee, and also checking out who's been in for a while, Pat Belford. He probably needs a break. Get some young blood in here, get him some experience against this tough Norristown squad because they'll be back next year for sure. Just under a minute now in this third quarter, Norristown 56, the Vikings upper Marion 20. So there's a travel by the newly entered Anderson Graham and into the game. For Norristown, number 40, Tevin Bush. Tevin Bush will check in for Jaquil Hargrove. And, you know, positive note, the uh, Vikings have, yeah, they gave up 22 points here in his second, in his third quarter. They've scored 11, so some improvement uh, on that front. There goes Sheldon. Sheldon's being defended by 50. Malcolm, excuse me, that's James Mobley. I've referred to him as Malcolm Coleman. My mistake. That is James, that is James Mobley, number 50. Back to Davis, Davis to Sheldon Mayer. 30 seconds remain and you wonder when coach Mike Evans is gonna unload the bench here and get some of his young guys some prime time action in a varsity basketball game. This Allen Yates is feeling it hard, dribble to the hoop and he draws a foul, just going strong. Yates feels good and I think he got hit where you don't wanna get hit as he grimaces, certainly. That foul is on number 12, Fran Rafferty. His third personal foul, that's the Vikings' fourth foul. Yates from the foul line, he makes that one. Yates is two for four in his last four foul shots. And he's having one heck of a half here. That's his 10th point. That second foul shot's up and good for Yates. Norristown loosens up on the pressure a little bit. Not a bad idea by the coach, 58. 20, Norristown leads by 38, 10 seconds remain in this third quarter. That ball is stolen, James Mobley lost possession. Seven seconds, five seconds. Sheldon Mayer stopping and popping from the foul line. Sweet stroke by the senior Mayer. His first points of the second half. And Norristown is up by 40. That's right, 40 after the third quarter. That's Norristown 60. The Vikings are upper Marion 20, checking into the game for Norristown. Number four, Tyrese White 
number 15, Rasheed McCray, and number 25, Brian Bayless. I got a feeling they're checking in for guys like Alan Yates. And Jaquil Hargrove, we'll see in just a moment here as we start the fourth and final corner. 